In this topic, we are going to discuss a case study of repatriation and loss prevention at a company called Escam. Basically, this is a story of a person called Vane Bolova who was serving as a loss prevention and safety director at Iscam. Uh, Iscam is a US based um, global mining engineering firm. And Wayne was uh, sent on an international assignment as safety director uh, in their mining uh, business in Peru. Uh, he served there for three years and uh, he has just recently returned after serving three years in Peru. Uh, currently, he was repatriated back in Denver, the city of Denver, which is in America. And this is a story about how he is feeling and what he is doing uh, when uh, he has been repatriated back to the home country. Um, today, which is the current uh, situation, he has just resigned from his job in ISCAM and is going to start his own security firm. This is the context, this is the situation that he was a top level manager who was sent on an international assignment, served three years over there, came back and now after six months he resigned from the country uh, from the company and is planning to do his own business why did that happen this is a story of repatriation and loss of the organization so let's start from the expatriation process of Wayne uh, the company did an excellent job of uh, preparing the person and his family for the departure. So the pre-departure training was done very effectively. The children, they were, they were admitted to American schools in Peru and they were very happy over there. His Mexican wife, uh, Mexican born wife was also very much happy over there to uh, be part of the local expatriate community as well as the church community. So, adjust karne ke liye organization ne achhe steps aur uski family jo thi, wo pe achhi tarah se adjust ho gayi teen saal pehle jab wo international assignment ke upar Peru mein move kiye. Wayne himself was also very much happy because he was enjoying increased responsibility and centrality of his role. So, when he was in this international assignment, ke upar wo kya, waha pe us, wo, he was the center of attention. He had all the responsibility and he had the, um, he had the autonomy to make decisions and therefore he had more responsibility, more authority and he was more central in his role and he was enjoying all that. <clears throat> As an ex-army officer, um, he developed some counter-terrorism and security protocols and that was something which was really gratifying from him. He got a lot of sense of achievement from designing those counter-terrorism and security protocols to make sure that the, uh, that the organizations, facilities and the mines in which they work they were safe and protected and the employees were protected from threats of terrorism and other security problems. So he was also very happy. So this was the process of expatriation. Now when he was repatriated back, what happened in that context? Repatriation back to America was a totally different thing. Uh, the organization has gone through one year after he left, the organization went through a major restructuring and the way things were done when he was there in US, the organization completely shifted to some new processes. Uh, because of that restructuring, his mentor Herman Balking also resigned. Uh, the restructuring aftershocks relocated many close 
colleagues that he used to work with now because of that what happened was that his liaison in the home country it all vanished his informal corporate intelligence network it totally डिसअपेयर जो आपका इनफॉर्मल आपका नेटवर्क होता है जिसमें से आपको लोगों को खबरें मिलती हैं जो कि बड़ा इम्पॉर्टेंट होता है आपके किसी भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में सर्वाइव करने के लिए और सक्सेसफुल रहने के लिए वो सारा डिसअपेयर हो गया क्योंकि उसके अक्सर कॉलेज जो थे वो रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग की वजह से आउट ऑफ द स्टेट वो मूव कर गए और अब उसका जो रोल था लाइजॉन का उसके साथ लाइजॉन करने का इट वॉज पास टू वेरी जूनियर स्टाफ जिनको जिनको ना वो जानता था और जो कि ना उसकी बात समझ सकते थे ना उसके साथ उसकी उनकी रेपटॉय थी सो ये जो सब रिपेट्रिएशन ड्यूरिंग का के प्रॉब्लम्स क्रिएट होने शुरू हो गए जबकि अभी वो वहीं पर असाइनमेंट में में एम्प्लॉयड था इन इन पेरू नाउ वेन ही वॉज रिपेट्रिएटेड बैक वेन ही एक्चुअली रिटर्न बैक तो जो कंपनी की टॉप मैनेजमेंट ने उससे बात की हुई थी कि हमने जो आपके बारे में वापस आके आपके लिए जो जॉब सोची हुई है द जॉब दैट वी आर थॉट फॉर दैट वाज नो बट नो वेयर टू बी फाउंड एंड एक्चुअली व्हाट हैपन वाज कि ऑन द रिटर्न ही एक्चुअली हैड टू स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम लुकिंग फॉर एंड गेटिंग अ रियल ऑफिस इन इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड getting a uh, an assignment which was which which had some position some job description he had to actually wait for that and spend a lot of time getting those things uh, under his uh, um for for, uh, for his uh, uh, assignment and everyone had a different perspective about how things had to be done which was quite frustrating from for him and he felt क्लास्ट्रोफोबिक क्लास्ट्रोफोबिक ये होता है कि जब आप किसी तंग जगह के ऊपर बांध हो जाए और आपको वहाँ पे सांस ना आए तो दैट इज समथिंग विच इज क्लास्ट्रोफोबिक दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज सेट दैट आई फील क्लास्ट्रोफोबिक बिकॉज मुझे यहाँ पे सांस लेने को भी जगह जो है वो नहीं मिल रही उसने जो प्रोटोकॉल्स डिवेलप किए थे इतनी मेहनत के साथ और जिसके बारे में वो इतना जो था वो ही यूज टू फील प्राइड इन दैट उन प्रोटोकॉल्स को भी मेजरली जो है वो चेंज कर दिया गया या वो सिस्टमेटिकली इग्नोर कर दिए गए सो ऐसी सिचुएशन के अंदर ही फेल्ट वेरी मच डिमिनिश्ड एंड हिज सेल्फ स्टीम वाज आल्सो हर्ड दैट द प्रोटोकॉल्स दैट ही हैड डेवलप्ड दे वर एक्चुअली इग्नोर्ड नाउ ऑन द होम फ्रंट ही वाज आल्सो फेसिंग अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम द हाउस दैट ही बॉट वॉज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव Uh, when he was leaving uh, the hr had suggested that the house that he owns in america at that time he should sell it and now when he has come back he had to purchase a house at a very high price which was a real burden on him uh, it was in an area in which the government schools were not very satisfactory so his kids were also having problem he looked for private schools but the private schools were very expensive and his wife had also started complaining about the very cold weather of denver because peru is a moderate climate area and denver is in a cold uh, colder uh, temperature zone so uh, his wife was also complaining and that actually led to uh, um, uh, led to a talk with balking which was his mentor that what should we do uh so balking who was uh, who had already resigned he said that uh, well maybe it's time to uh, leave the company and uh, because you have the professional expertise and i have a lot of uh, context so let's get together and start our own business and so therefore uh, because of a poor management of this repatriation process the company Uh, just after 6 months of repatriation of wayne they had to lose him he resigned and the company had to lose his professional expertise and experience so this is the uh, a real story of a person who was actually very effectively expatriated uh, but very poorly repatriated back to the home country and therefore the organization had to face the loss of losing him